So why is it that Gen X doesn't trust authority? I mean, we'll start it off easy for you. If you aren't an Xer and you really want to know, just listen up because I'm going to start with a little fact for you. Nearly 60% of all Xers don't trust the government. Now, that's not really a shocker, is it? I mean, why the hell would we? We've been lied to, jerked around, and left to fend for ourselves since day one. We didn't grow up with handouts. We grew up with skepticism. And honestly, we've had a front row seat to the shit show our entire lives. So let's break it down. We all know that Gen X is sandwiched between these damn hippies who thought they could love their way out of war and the millennials who apparently believe that tweeting about your feelings is a form of activism. I mean, but us, the famous latchkey kids, the forgotten middle child in history, raised by TV and more importantly, raised without trust in any damn authority. Now, we didn't inherit that mindset. We earned it. Our mistrust was drilled into us, one betrayal after another, by governments, corporations, teachers, bosses, and pretty much anyone who ever claimed to know what's best for us. So why do we Gen Xers have such a monumental distrust of authority? Well, where the hell do you want to start? I mean, let's talk about the blatant lies, the gaslighting from everyone in charge. I mean, we came of age during Watergate, the scandal that showed us that even the goddamn president couldn't be trusted. And that wasn't just a news story. It was a wake up call. And don't forget the Cold War. We grew up under the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. All because some suits in a boardroom somewhere thought playing chicken with the goddamn planet was a good idea. I mean, we got dragged into fights we didn't start, like the war on drugs, which conveniently just destroyed inner cities while the rich lined their pockets. And then there's the corporate bullshit. The 80s were a paradise of excess for the top 1%. For the rest of us, it was layoffs, broken pensions, nice little glimpse of what happens when greed goes unchecked. When as we dive a little deeper, you got Watergate? Yeah, that set the tone, but it didn't stop there. I mean, then came the Iran-Contra. You know, the government was caught running guns and drugs like they were the frickin' Sopranos. While preaching family values and the war on crime, they pissed on our heads and told us it was raining. And then the cherry on top of that bullshit Sunday, corporate America. We were fed the lie that if we worked hard, we climbed the ladder, make something of ourselves. Yeah, that ladder, it turned out to be rigged. Anyone remember Enron, WorldCom, the housing crisis? We learned that the system isn't just broken, it is built to screw us over. And oh, let's not forget our real induction in the corporate greed, the dot-com bust. When the bubble burst and half the country's retirements just went whoosh, up in smoke, gone. Now, this wasn't theoretical for us. We lived it. Our parents got laid off. Our teachers had their budget slashed. And we had front row seats to the gutting of the middle class. And we learned one very important thing. Those in charge don't give a damn unless you've got a fat check in your hand to stick in their pocket. And let me tell you what solidified it for me 100% and took away that last 5% where maybe I would have trusted the government. And that was 2008, when the whole system came crashing down. Banks got bailed out, but people, regular folks like you and me, we got left in the dirt. The government saved the assholes who caused the problem in the first place, and no one went to jail, no one got punished. They just got golden parachutes while the rest of us were told to tighten our belts. It's going to be a tough couple years. That was the nail in the coffin for the remaining trust I had in any authority whatsoever. When everyone else finally started to realize that authority isn't here to serve you, it's here to serve itself. You can beg, you can plead, but in the end, you're just a pawn in their little game. So here we are, Xers, that whole generation of skeptics, and damn proud of it. I mean, we were raised on lies and half-truths of authority figures, and we sure as hell aren't falling for that same tricks anymore. I mean, as Xers, we don't trust authority because authority has proven time and time again it doesn't deserve to be trusted. We were raised on disappointment, betrayal, and false promises. But you know what? That made us tough. That made us real. And it sure as hell made us smarter than to blindly follow some jackass just because they wear a suit and a tie. So what do you think? Has authority actually earned any trust back since then? Or are you just as fed up now as you were before? Drop your thoughts in the comments because I want to know. I want to hear from you. I want to spark the conversation. So comment down below. Tell me what moment was for you once and for all that completely eliminated that last bastion of hope that you may have had that you could have any trust no matter how minute in the government or authority. And until next time, this is Mike saying thanks for stopping in. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone.